Hi there, Taurus, Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your February 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So, without any further ado, let's dive deep into the reading and see what's going on for you guys, Taurus. Again, this is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in necessarily for each and every Taurus out there. So just keep that in mind. So um, yeah, let's take a look what's going on with you. We do have the 8th house, Aquarius, and Neptune over here. So whenever Neptune is involved in the 8th house, it always tends to be a very complex scenario. So you might notice that within the month of February, there will be times we're in, you are going to be forced to take a look with your life and maybe your love life in general in a very introspective level, very psychological. So there could be a lot of questions in your mind a lot of ideas a lot of insights that is coming into your mind at this time regarding whatever is happening in terms of your love life and relationships we'll check more of that a bit later but for now let's see what is the focusing energy over here we are at the point of wanting to explore life with pure happiness this is what i'm getting for you guys taurus so you could be at the time we're in you are very excited very adventurous willing to try new things and maybe you have already tried them it has created a lot of adventures for you but we are being shown here we're in it seems that you have put in your desire first rather than your own thought or thinking. It is that point wherein you have put your feelings first before analyzing things, which is always a good thing because sometimes the more we analyze things, the more we are hindered or blocked by by life or whatever it is that is happening for us but for now i kind of feel that there were a lot of things that has occurred in the past a lot of plans that you wanted to have you wanted to experience you wanted to to engage upon and for some of you guys maybe you have been successful in that venture but for some of you guys, maybe things did not really go the way that you have planned things to be. We do see here that there is a lot of energy of wanting a relationship, wanting to work hard, wanting to harmonize something, you know, wanting to find love as a whole. So if you are single right now, you are at the point wherein you wanted to, to date you wanted to be with someone not for the sake of just having fun not for the sake of casual dating i kind of feel that you are at the point wherein you wanted real love is really in focus here and some of you might be having a hard time in encountering that kind of love because you end up seeing or being with you know men or women in your life that treats things um lightly like maybe you have been dating people here and there but these people always goes for one night stand or hookups um, all about sex and nothing really serious and this is somehow making you lose confidence with things it's like you wanted to to experience something you want some form of excitement in the air but at the same time you're sick and tired of meeting men or meeting some women that 
is not up to your standards. So when I what I mean by that is that not with their physical looks or anything like that, but you are desiring something much more deeper. You wanted a serious relationship. And you're sick and tired of people that come and go in your life all just for fun, all just for, you know, for, I don't know, a hookup or, you know, like a fuck buddy or something like that, if that exists (laughs) for some of you. I just kind of feel that, you know, there's a lot that you are contemplating maybe you have been overly optimistic in the past but you are coming to a point wherein you cannot gloss over the things that has already happened what is being shown here is that you're losing confidence and maybe you are starting to see things in a negative light you are seeing how your desires do not match up with the present scenario or what life is giving you like the people that in your life that enters your life those kinds of things i kind of feel that you know you are wanting something but not receiving them Let's just put it that way to avoid the confusing words that I I keep telling you guys. So there is an energy here of wanting to experience things, wanting to desire to own things, wanting to have it all and not just all about giving. You wanted to, to own something, to attain something. You wanted to experience something. But your plans does not always go in the way that it should in the way that you wish for in the way that you want things to be and you're starting to you know question a lot of things starting to question yourself in the process to what is really wrong are you the one Are you the one who is at fault or you're starting to doubt whether you are just fated to be alone or you're fated to be in this kind of a mess up situation so you're starting to feel whether you are going to be happy or not because it shows here that you have worked hard you have made an effort you did a lot of risk but there is no stability in things and Taurus you are the sign that desires stability you want something that will last for the long haul and you might find yourself for the month of February getting confused with your own desires and what you have right now so if you are single i kind of feel that this could be a time we're in there's a lot of internal work happening for you there could be upsets or there could be you know maybe you suddenly find someone date someone and maybe you're thinking that you're thinking of wanting to put that relationship on another level to be a lot more serious but this person maybe just wants you for sex or wants you for some ulterior motive which you may already know or may not know at this time so i kind of feel that this this can be a point wherein reality will come crushing you down which is one point good because you're starting to wake up from some form of fantasy that you have put to someone else 
Like maybe you have an idea about a certain person or a certain relationship, thinking that they are this type of person, but in reality, they are not that type of person. So waking up has its own perks. But at the same time, you know, yes, it's good that you now know where you stand, but at the same time, the pain, the emotional pain that you might experience from all this is not really something, you know, very positive that we should and we could welcome on. So there's going to be a point wherein there is confusion and I kind of feel that this is coming to a point wherein you are about to make a decision for yourself and it does not it's, it does not have to involve the other person. Maybe you are going to find like a resolution for yourself. Like, what do I need to do? Because what this cycle that has been going on in my life cannot continue anymore. I can't just, you know, go in some dating apps and date one or two guys right there and have the same results over and over again if you're seeing a lot of of guys or women in the, those dating apps that just want to have some free meal or free sex over and over again then maybe that is not where you should be finding love So I kind of feel that there is a confusion here wherein I just want to experience love. I want to experience the date versus I want to be in a serious relationship. I want to be with Mr. or Miss Wright. Mr. and Mrs. Wright for me. Those kinds of things. So at the, as a result, this is going to make you a lot more mature because of the experiences that you are going to have. Now, another way that this can manifest is that maybe you are already in a relationship and things are looking very well. Everything is good. There's really nothing to be complaining about. It's just that we are seeing here that, you know, some form of news might come in the near future which can you know shock you because we do have the knight of swords and the tower card combined together in your future position and the knights are always messengers it could be a man so this could be an element wherein you meet someone sur that surprises you or maybe you have a sexual encounter with someone or there's just going to be some form of news that, you know, changes things for you with how you see life and love as a whole. We do see here that you do have the Three of Swords and the Page of Cups in your, in the position wherein your hopes and fears. So regardless of whatever possibilities this can manifest we are seeing here that you are fearing you are fearful of a breakup you are fearful of things not happening of things not working out you are fearful of all the negative things so it gives me that energy especially with the outcome card of the hermit and the nine of swords over here it gives me a feeling we're in a lot of you guys might be in a cycle of negativity especially with the neptune in the eighth house and the sign of aquarius right there so this is not just neptune though because Aquarius has the energy of Uranus and let's not forget that Uranus is currently in Taurus right now and being aspected by, by a lot of planetary alignments. So there could be, you know, 
something shocking within the month of February and which can be a good thing or or maybe not so good thing. I just kind of feel that whenever Neptune is involved, there is some form of confusion and there is some, some form of, you know, anxiety attack. So there could be a form of that. What we are seeing here is that right now, this is not the time for you to give your trust to someone completely. This is the time to be cautious and it's okay to be cautious because to be cautious means you want to protect yourself and there is nothing wrong with that. Protect yourself. Also, if there is indeed something shocking that you are going to be experiencing at this time, I kind of feel that, you know, try to talk to someone like vent out your frustrations and don't decide everything by yourself because you will not be able to decide anything you are not in a position wherein you can make a very logical decision a logical answer into things so this month can be quite turbulent and very emotional but there is truth in this you will find out something and y you might feel as if you are going to grow at the end there is so much hard work here so much hard work and so much frustration but after this upheaval that you are going to experiencing there is going to be some form of light i kind of feel that as a whole it could be that you know there is something that you need to fix within yourself and i'm not saying that all taurus is going to experience this but few parts of taurus is going to a point wherein something is transforming within themselves maybe they are going to change maybe wanting a makeover because they they are starting to feel, feel ugly feel fat or or something like that you know there is just a streak of negative thinking negative thoughts that might be coming into you you will experience that but that is not the end of the road for you and that is what i want to say that is not the end of the road you will find out something what you will find out is the truth it may be hard and it might be difficult but it will also be very revealing to you so that you know what you should do what do you need to fix and what do you really want in out of life you will find it all out so i kind of feel that this is going to be tricky because it really does not tell me the end point of what you will experience like it doesn't give us a conclusion to end this reading it it's just telling us that there is going to be something shocking that you will find out and it might lead you to be emotionally reactive and there could be some form of negativity in the air which might be a very negative reading for some of you guys if you are not able to see what i really want to tell you because the message that i want to say is that you need to accept the truth no matter how hard and difficult it might be because it will help you in the future in the long run it will save you from living in the fantasy that is somehow deluding you so you might experience like maybe you are in a relationship with someone maybe from long distance or something like that and maybe they're telling you this and that and then you come to a point wherein everything falls down and you realize that they are not the person that you think that they are so 
and how you handle that is going to be difficult, of course. So you might find yourself entering a blockage point for this month. And <laughs> that no matter how I want to give you guys a positive reading, I have to admit that this is somehow negative and I do not blame you guys if you will hate me on this. But this is just a message that I want to share. You will find out something and it is the truth. And it might be hard to deal with, but regardless of the pain and regardless of what you might experience, believe it or not, little by little, there is a step forward that you are making. Because it will lead you to be with someone whom you are supposed to be with. It could be with someone or it could be that it will lead you to the life path and to the true you that you should be because I kind of feel that maybe I kind of feel that for some of you you have been all over the place yes there were a lot of fun times and they are all good but it also feel not realistic and this will realign you to the path we're in okay this is real life this is now the real status of things if before everything was all fun and games everything was like all my dreams and nostalgia this is now reality i am now going to a path wherein where things are going to be led in a in a more possible type of reality you know some form of reality is going to come to the surface so there is going to be some form of truth and for many of you you are going to struggle you might struggle with your wishes and dreams and the truth that comes for you. But know that by knowing the truth, you will be able to move forward. And you will be able to discern the truth from the lie in the future because of this experience. So it's not really all that bad. And later on, when things settle down and when things finally happen for you because they will trust me whenever something happens that is not very pleasing there will always be something to be happy about later on that is just the cycle of life you know and i cannot just tell you guys all positive reading each time because that's just a little bit fake you know so I don't want to invent things that I don't see. Of course, this is just a very specific reading. So I'm pretty sure that it's not going to be occurring for each and every tourist out there. So yeah, either way, you could be in that scenario or this could be just a time wherein you are emotionally disturbed for some reason. There is some form of unsatisfaction that you are feeling at this time. Maybe because of the alignments, which is very possible. The activation of Neptune in your chart, also possible. And Mercury retrograde as well. So all I can tell you guys is that this is not permanent and it will change. So I know it's going to be difficult, but stay positive i know that you can do it and if all else fails know that i will always be here with you guys to listen to your worries and all that i do have hope that things will turn around for you guys if you are ever experiencing something 
so difficult at this time. You will overcome them and there is going to be harmony back in your life once again. So with this, I close the reading. Thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. I do apologize if some of you will not like this reading. I just want to tell you guys what I truly see in this. So um, yeah, please don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm still hoping that, you know, on the brighter side, this is not for everyone anyway, so it's going to be very specific, like probably 1% or 2% people in the world. So, um, yeah. Have a wonderful February, guys, and I do hope that something in you within the end of the month will bloom in a very beautiful and wonderful way because that's also possible as well. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me, and I'll see you guys again next month.